Hey guys, Jay here at Mountain Dog Companion. Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, I'm just going to be talking about Joyce and Jasper's later. Uh, talking a little bit about temperament. Talking a little bit about personality. Um, each one um, is doing great. They're super healthy. Um, we do have one that has a hernia, uh, but everyone's doing wonderfully. Um, we normally either reimburse for hernias or take care of it here, so um, we can definitely get into discussion on that. But if you're interested in genetic testing, COI scores, anything regarding that, feel free to reach out um, or check out the more info button on each of the parents. Um, and you can see the AKC registration or any of the genetic testing. So um, again, this is Joyce and Jasper's litter. They're doing great. They're coming up on about six weeks old. Um, we'll be doing litter picks this weekend. Um, and I've just wanted to give you a little bit more information to work with. So um, talking about Luca here on my right first, he's probably one of the smaller ones, um, the smaller males, a little guy, um, just a little bit smaller than um, this is, ah, uh, gosh, help Eddie. me out, Eddie. Okay, I, I forgot that, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, we got uh, Lucas here, a little bit smaller. He does have those white socks, um, white on front and back, that tan extending down um, the side, and a white chest with those tan eyebrows as well. Just a very nice traditional look at the fluff on that, just a uh, very nice traditional Bernice look. Um, for a nice little energetic boy. He's probably more outgoing, I would say, uh, than some. He's probably one of the more outgoing, if not the most outgoing ones. Um, he's a big chewer. He'll chew on pretty much anything, so you can see that right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, next up, um, we have Eddie here. He's the medium-sized guy of the litter. Um, not the biggest, not the smallest. A nice, chunky face features. Um, that tan extending down, a little bit of a smaller look on the socks, the white socks um, on the front, but the back does have some really nice markings. Um, a white chest and those tan eyebrows as well. Um, and last but not least with the guys, and he's hiding back here, um, probably taking a nap by now. Um, what's up, sleepyhead? Uh, this is Barkley. Um, he's the biggest, probably the most laid back boy of the litter pretty chill um just very he was chilling out behind me taking a nap um and i had to wake him up but super chill a very nice round confirmation um a very good bernice look for you traditional um look as far as the stripe in between the eyes your tan eyebrows tan on the legs and those white socks on the front and back and he does have a white tip tail as well he's a big chill guy i got someone biting on my side here <laughs> um, but he's a nice big chill guy um pretty pretty much he doesn't really mind anything he's just um here for a good time so um he's definitely doing very well he's the biggest one of the litter so again that was barkley guys next up this is l um she is one of the girls from joyce and jasper's litter um, she's doing wonderful she's probably on the smaller side a little bit more petite or so to speak very nice confirmation and probably one of the more outgoing ones, um, if I can say so. Um, super energetic, she's very outgoing. Um, just trying to find some more trouble anywhere she's at. So um, again, that was L. Um, she does have an umbilical hernia, which is something we do take, a, uh, take care of normally, um, either before they leave or we can reimburse um, after they, they get home and get to that uh, spaying or neutering process, which in her case would be spaying. Um, we would definitely uh, reimburse for that up to $150. So, um, but yeah, next up here, this is Flower. Um, she's one of the more chunky looking as far as confirmation goes. Girls, um, a little bit heavier, a little bit stockier, um, more leaning towards dad's side of things. So, um, but a very nice confirmation. Um, your traditional Bernice look, uh, white stripe in between the eyes. You got the tan eyebrows, um, the white socks. She has a little bit less of a white sock look on the front side, but does have that come through on the back side. So, um, and she does have a little bit of a white tip tail. Um, that'll probably fade out here in the next couple weeks. She's pretty chill, um, not near as outgoing as L, I would say, um, but definitely, I would say, on the more chilled side of the girls. So, um, next up here is Maxine. Uh, she's in the me medium size. She's not quite as big as um, Flower. <clears throat> Flower here. Um, excuse me. And, but she's doing great. 
Um, she's a little bit more energetic as well, kind of in between. Everything's just medium um, with her. She's not the most energetic, not the most chill. You can see um, she's just chilling out over to my right where um, this little girl is probably gonna be a little bit more outgoing than that. Um, but she does have those traditional white markings, um, white on the feet, white stripes. She does have a little bit more white, I would say, uh, than the other two girls. So a nice white chest and, and that white tip tail here in the back as well. Um, but beautiful confirmation. And like I said, her temperament's just kind of medium. She's not the most energetic, but definitely not um, as chill, so. Um, anyway, this is Joyce and Jasper's Litter. Thanks for tuning in again. Just wanted to get a little bit more information out for you. They're all doing very great. Um, wonderfully, we do have that one umbilical hernia, but it's not a big issue. It's not a health concern. Um, but definitely, uh, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, my name's Jay Miller. Thanks for tuning in.